Or not your brother's keeper. So whose keeper are you? Well, he said you should be anybody's keeper. But what you really keeper is, is of yourself. Ayn Rand stood for a new morality, a new moral code. And I think in a, a, a really, really, really important moral code, the most important moral code maybe in 2,000 years that's been born in front of humanity, the moral code of rational self-interest. The idea that your purpose in life should not be to live for others, should not be to serve, should not be to sacrifice, but to live, to live the best life that you can live for your sake of your own happiness. So a selfish moral code, not a selfish in a sense of treating other people badly, but selfish in a sense of taking care of self, of living a good life for oneself. Selfish in a sense that you are the beneficiary of your moral actions. So the whole idea is to live the best life. And, and the tool we have as human beings to live the best life that we can is our mind. So if you care about your own life, if you care about your own success, if you care about living the best life that you can live, the tool that you must cultivate, the tool that you must embrace, the tool that you must work hard on is your mind, is your reason, is your rational faculty.